Good morning. Let us now welcome each other in this celebration as we turn to the people around us. Greeting one another, acknowledging each other's presence, remembering to keep each other in prayer and to lift up one another to the Lord. Let's also take this moment to bow our heads and close our eyes as we open our hearts and our spirits to God's presence and pray to Him for people who are in dire and destitute situations, for families that are struggling, especially in our parish. We pray also for those who continue to serve in the front lines, the first responders, and all those who provide the necessary services for the poor and needy, most especially. Today is Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent, and uh, our entrance song is Our God is Here. Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And cry, holy, holy, holy are you. We cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here. In the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Son of man and Son of God, Kirihie Elehison, Kirihie Elehison. You are sent by the Father, Christ Elehison, Christ Elehison. You take away the sins of the world, Kirihie Elehison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the kingdom, the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the book of Numbers. From Mount Or, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea road to bypass the land of Adam. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from the land, from Egypt, to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole.
and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses according, accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from, from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he, he has guarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generations to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven, he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the soul. All who come to him The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what <clears throat> is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, what I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I will tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the father. So Jesus said to them, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. When my children were young, the thing I avoid, I hated the most, probably almost the most, was um, the times when they would get whiny. 
And you recognize that the whines were coming because it would always start with a daddy. And then it would be like, he's touching me. Or it would be something very insignificant as they're sitting there complaining. And you're sitting there as a parent kind of shaking your head of all the things you're worried about. You're whining about this thing that is so unimportant. Well, fortunately, we adults grow out of it. Well, we get good not to use the whiny voice. But many times we find ourselves complaining. And it may be even complaining about things that aren't important. And we almost become focused, fixated on something that's bothering us. Now, as a child, when we're going through that, we be, when we're whining, we're so focused inward that we're just focused and we give power to the thing that we're complaining. It would seem on those long car rides where they're worried about, he's touching me, and they, they suddenly are so focused on, they're watching the hand of the person who might be somehow reaching out and touching them instead of noticing what was out of the car. Noticing why we're in the car going somewhere. As adults, we sometimes use that as justification for sin. Ah, boy, this person did me wrong. That gives me the right to do revenge. That gives me the right to make this choice because of this complaint I have. Because whenever we're complaining, nothing matters but what we're focused on. And we see that in the first reading today. The people of Israel, the people in their Exodus journey, immediately forgot why they were on the journey. Suddenly they were so focused on the, the fact that their food was the same every day. Not focused on the blessings that God was delivering them from a life of captivity. That even in the midst of an empty desert, God is every day providing them food. Now, as they, you hear in the first reading, what do they call the food? Wretched food. And so they're consumed. And we recognize that suddenly it is the serpent, the symbol of sin, that comes and begins to attack them. You see, our complaints lead to that sin. And as they complained, they recognized that their complaints was developing, causing that sin. And so as Moses prayed to God, God's solution was interesting. Show the people to stop looking inward, but instead look up to God. Raise up a symbol of that evil so that then when they look up, they realize that that serpent that they're complaining about, the things they're complaining about, God has full power over that. And in the gospel today, Jesus uses that same symbolism, reminds the people that when he, the Son of Man, when Jesus is lifted up, he is, the sins are the nails that are put there, but God has the ultimate victory the victory in the cross. So when we recognize that we're called not to grumble, complain, whine, we're called to look beyond our afflictions, our sins, and instead look high, look up and look at the cross and recognize that symbol of love, that God loves us so much that God sent his son into the world and that sun, lifted high on the cross, redeems our sins. In faith, let us pray to the Father who through the sufferings of his Son has saved us from all condemnation. Our response, <clears throat> Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That the people of God may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the whole world. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light shining in the darkness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That perpetual light may shine upon the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is being offered, for Father Luis Serrano, for Rudy Palacio in their eternal repose. We pray for the intentions of Edward Moore, and we pray for the intentions that have been submitted to us, especially for the health and strength needed by Alvin Henson, Lena Briones, Thomas Din. We pray for our dearly departed Sister Margaret Mary Benedicto, Father Ben Benedicto, for Herminia Antila, Chona Aguilar, and Constancia Macaspac. We also lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families, in the, which we mention in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, source of all blessing, Grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherents to the faith, so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for mankind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, 
and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our saints from the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon when i am lifted up from the earth 
I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. And in solidarity with our sisters and brothers in online, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. We now pray to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary place her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, who chose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is How Great Thou Art. And when I think that God is son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarcely can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Have a blessed day, everyone. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.